A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Ohio Silver, the Lone Ranger. With his great horse, Silver, and his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains fought crime and criminals throughout the western United States. It was he, more than any other man, who brought law and order to a lawless frontier, and the memory of his deeds will remain as long as the memory of the early West itself. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear, when adventure lay at the end of every trail. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for the Indian country! Saddle's waiting for us there! I O Silver! Away! The first wagon trains to enter the newly opened Western territories were attacked not only by hostile Indians, but by vicious white outlaws as well. Such was the fate of the small train that carried Jack Laramie, his young wife, Edith, and their four-year-old son, Ted. A band of outlaws attacked the train and left no survivors, with one exception, the boy, Ted Laramie. The discovery of the boy presented a serious problem. Even these men found it impossible to kill in cold blood. They were unwilling to abandon the child in the wilderness, but to carry the lone survivor of their raid to the nearest settlement would link them with their crime. Two men, appointed by the outlaw leader, took the child to an Indian village and left him there. After five years, only one of the outlaws remained at large, and no one knew of the part he'd played in the tragedy of the wagon train. Now, in our first scene, we see the Lone Ranger and his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, sitting motionless on their great horses, their eyes sweeping the valley below them. You say the boy rides this way often, Tonto? Mm, that's right. You sure this is the right valley? And Tonto not make mistake. Indian village over there. We've been waiting for more than an hour. Perhaps he wouldn't ride this far alone. You wait. Him come. Your Indian friend might have misinformed you, but... There's a rider, Tonto. Ah, a boy. Maybe the one we want. We'll stop him, Tonto. Come on, Silver. Up, scout. I've heard rumors of white children living with Indians before, Kimasami. But usually they're wrong. <laughs> you find out. He's seen us. Hello there. <laughs> him wave hand. Oh, oh there's Silver. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. He's just a youngster, Tonto, but he rides well. Uh, him rides plenty well. Here he comes. How? Tonto. What matter? This boy is white. He's dressed like an Indian. He's been tanned by the sun. There can't be any mistake. <laughs> That's right. Can you understand white man's talk? Buena, Tico. Mote golasu. What did he say, Tonto? Him say him call little beaver. Then he doesn't understand English. He must have been very young when he first joined the Indians. Ask him if he knows where he comes from, who his people are. Denka, Roma. Saligomo. Mini Hana, Kalke Kat. Tanomolo Komini. Tipaket, Moli Mete. Oh, Ido. Him live with Crow Indian. Him live there many moon. Him ask about you. Say him, member pale-faced, long time past. He's probably still got a few memories of his parents, Tonto. 
even though he doesn't understand those memories. And it's likely that I'm the first white man he's seen since he lost his parents. Uh -huh. He calls himself Little Beaver. But that's only his Indian name, of course. Wait, what's that hanging from that leather strap on his wrist? It. Ring. I wonder... Ask him if I can look at it. Palotan de Nikota. Pelot? Father Pony. Uh. Him show you. Good. It's a small gold ring, Tonto, like children often wear. Make up a clue to his identity. Yes. The engraving is almost worn away, but you can still make it out. Uh huh? T. Laramie. Laramie. Where have I heard that name before, Kimosabe? That name fellow in Red Run. Red Run, that's it. An uh. old couple from the East that was in Red Run when we were there. No one seemed to know what their business was. What do you think? It may mean nothing. Their names being the same, I'd be only an accident. But on the other hand, it might explain why those people came to the West. Tika! Go! You want Tonto to get him? Let him go, Tonto. But this is something we're going to look into. Uh huh? We leave Little Beaver with his Indian friends for the present. He looks happy and healthy. He's safer here for a while. Hmm, that's right. Well, he's only a boy. As he grows older and his mind develops, he'll never be satisfied leading the life of a savage. Uh -huh. If he's related to the Laramies and Red Run, and they seem decent people, we'll return for him. Come on, Tonto. We'll find a place to camp for the night. It was a week later that the Lone Ranger, disguised but without his mask, stood outside the sheriff's office. The door opened, and the sheriff escorted an elderly couple out onto the porch. Well, Mr. Laramie, if it's your notion I've been handling this thing wrong, I reckon I'll have to try it your way. You've heard nothing at all from your deputies? Not a blame thing. I've got all four of them on the job. Then I'd appreciate it if you'd take my suggestion, Sheriff. Well, it's up to you. I'll see the word gets around if that's what you want. Thank you. And, ma'am, uh, don't you be giving up hope yet. There's still lots of chances. I won't, Sheriff. Come along, Jenny. Good day, Sheriff. If you hear anything, we'll be at the hotel. Well, I'll let you know first news I get. Sheriff. Huh? Oh, howdy, stranger. Those were the Laramies, weren't they? That's their handle, all right. What's it to you? I know they're from the East, Sheriff. I wondered what their business was in Red Run. Now, look here. Or is it a secret? It would be if I had anything to do with it. But, Chucks, I might as well tell you about it as anybody, I guess. I promised I'd spread the word around. Yes? Don't suppose you remember a wagon train that was massacred east of here about five years back, do you? Five years ago? I believe I do recall something. Well, them folks you just seen leave my office had a son traveling with them wagons. There was him and his wife and a young one. Cheryl, how old was the child? Mm, about four, I think they said. Say, you act as though maybe you knew something. Go ahead, Cheryl. What's the rest of the story? Well, it just so happens that I was one of the first fellows to come across them folks that was killed in the raid. We found enough to identify most of them, but there weren't no kid four years old among them. You're sure of that? Of course I am. Wouldn't forget a thing like that. Well, as I was saying, young Laramie and his wife was found, but no trace of the kid. The old folks never knew what happened to them until just recent. Until recently? Yep. Let them into a sizable amount of cash and decided to come west and do some hunting. They got this far, heard about what happened to the wagon train, and... Now, they're hoping maybe the young'un wasn't killed. They look like good people, Sheriff. Stranger, they don't come no finer, poor old folks. Hardest thing I ever did was tell them what happened to their boy and his wife. Now, they got their hearts so dead set on finding the kid. I sure hate to think what'll happen when they find out it ain't no use. You don't believe the child can be found? Shucks, it ain't reasonable, is it, mister? A young'un just four years old and left to grow up by himself, and that five years back? I wouldn't say the same to them. But if that kid's found, I'll eat my saddle. What was the boy's name? Ted. Theodore. Named after his ma's father, they said. But why hasn't this been told around? Those people have been here for almost a month. Yeah, and I've had my four deputies searching the country for the past two weeks. But what I was trying to guard against was crooks hearing about the search. You mean they might get a hold of the boy first? Either that or try to pass off some other young'un in his place. When folks got as much cash as the larum as you got, crooks will do most anything to cheat him out of it. That's true, Sheriff. But now, old Laramie says I gotta let it be known, so I reckon I ain't got no choice. I, um. Uh... Hey, what's your hurry? I'll see you again, Sheriff. Here, Silver. Well, now look here, stranger. If you know anything about this ain't yep. cold, I... I said I'd see you but again. Wait. Hello, Silver. The 
the boy we saw is related to the Laramie Tunnel. Uh, we'll get him and return him to his grandparents. That good thing. Come on, Silver! There's the village tunnel. Look, there's something going on. You hear the Indians chanting? Uh, they are plenty of trouble. I wonder what's happened. Me find out. You can? Uh, there come Indian rider. Me know him. Him named Long Arrow. Long Arrow? Uh, Isn't he the Indian who told you about the boy in the first place, Tano? Not right. Call him, Kimasabi. Ask him where the boy is. Tell him we found the boy's relatives. We want to speak to the chief about returning Ted to his own people. Uh, Kimasabi, Long Arrow. Oh, come to. No, Peter. Talk to. Manikte, te pan mut. Dakota, tell pe, do sante nipo dek mat. Huh? Him say boy? Gone. Gone? But where? How? Dakut. Ten lo mate kin ma. Pako relit. Quick, Tano. Him not know where boy gone. Him say little beaver and two Indian go hunt. Them find Indian dead. Little beaver gone. You mean the boy went hunting with two Indians and disappeared and the Indians were found killed? Not right. But who did it? Them not know. That's why big trouble in village. All Indian feel bad. And we're too late. Uh, Someone knew the boy was here. And I'm afraid the sheriff was right when he said he feared crooks might get a hold of him. What we do? Thank Long Arrow for the information. Tell him we're friends of the boy. And we'll try to find him again. And ask him to keep the boy here if the Indians discover him before we do. Malut, Gemu, Lotek. Nika Tonto. Him do that. Then back to Red Run, Tonto. We've got to find out why the boy was stolen. Come on, Get him up, Scout. One evening, several days later, the boy's grandparents were seated in the sheriff's office, talking to the lawman. Well, Mr. Laramie, I don't know what to think. Every one of my deputies have reported back, and they never found a thing. I did what you asked me, told the folks in town about it, and still we ain't got no word. And we thought we were getting closer to him at last. Shucks, ma'am. All my deputies are on hand now. I can send them out again if you'd rather. No. What the? Who threw that? Oh. Hey, wait. It's a note. Somebody wrapped it up in this stone and tossed it in here. Uh, no. well, let me see that. And look, there's a ring with it. A small gold ring. See what the note says, will you, Mr. Laramie? I'm going to find out if one of my deputies seen who threw it. Hey, fellas. You, Gus, Leo, Slim, come here. What's up, Sheriff? Somebody just threw a note inside here. Gus, did you see who done it? Gosh, I ain't seen nobody around, Sheriff. Duke. Me neither. Well, how about you, Leo? I reckon I was sort of dozing, Sheriff. I never heard nothing until you yelled. Oh, blast it. What do you say, Slim? Gosh, yes, Sheriff, I'm sorry, but Dog I... Doggone, I ought to fire the lot of you. You must be going blind or deep. Uh, what's the note say, Mr. Laramie? Sheriff, it, it seems impossible. Huh? My grandson's been found. This, this ring's the one I gave him on his second birthday. Found? The note says so. Oh, here, give me that. I'll find out what this is all about. Read it to us, Sheriff. But... Why, that dirty low-down polecat. What's it say? The fellow that's got the young un wants $10,000 cash oh. to give him back. Oh, no. We'll pay it gladly. Not by a blame sight, I won't. I'm the law here, and I won't stand for no such thing. But we may never see him alive again if we don't. The skunk's just bluffing. If he thinks... Oh, okay. Look there. I bet that's a fellow you want, Sheriff. Well, stop him. Fire at him. Yeah, I missed. He's most out of sight already. A polecat. Well, there's he is. Man, he's got the Catch that fella, and we'll have the boy. Come on. Get to your heart. Right, yeah. The curtain falls on the first act of our thrilling Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now to continue our story. When the Lone Ranger was seen riding away from the sheriff's office after a note had been thrown in the window demanding $10,000 for the return of Ted Laramie, he was believed to be the outlaw who had kidnapped the child. The masked man, however, escaped from the sheriff's posse and made his way to the small camp where Tonto waited. Oh, 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 no, gentlemen. Oh, boy. Oh, there. Uh, what? What matter? Tonto, somebody's made Ted a prisoner. 
He wants $10,000 for his return. Oh, that's bad, bad. You have to act fast, Tonto. I heard the sheriff tell Martin Laramie he wouldn't let him pay the money. Huh? The sheriff doesn't know he's dealing with a murderer. He's already killed two men to get the child. He'll not hesitate to kill again if he has to. I don't think you're right. I don't believe in paying money to outlaws. But if we don't dare risk the boy's life, I have a plan to get the money back and find the guilty man. What plan? I'm going back to town and talk to Laramie and the sheriff. It's dangerous, but I have to persuade them to follow the instructions they received. Uh, and you'll have to make a long trip as fast as you can. I'm be glad to do that. Now listen closely and I'll tell you how we'll trap the man we're after. That same night, the sheriff returned to his office where the Laramies were anxiously waiting. Well, I'm sorry, folks, but the masked fella got clean away. You lost all trace of him? Hmm. The way that hombre rode, it'd take a horse with wings to keep up with him. My deputies are still hunting him, but I come back to let you know how things stood. Sheriff, you can't let any harm come to our grandson. Ma'am, we'll get that crook sooner or later. And when we do, he'll be wishing he wasn't ever born. He's going to decorate a rope, and folks, that's a promise. I'd rather you let me pay the money that's asked. I told you before what I thought about that. But, but Didn't Sheriff... someone just ride up? I was sure I hear his voice. Perhaps it's one of your deputies, Sheriff. If it is, I'll give him a piece of my mind. Unless well, they got track of the fellow they was hunting. I'd give them orders to stay on the job till morning if they had to. And if they don't... Oh. Well, I'll be... It's, it's the masked man you were looking for. Keep your hands away from your gun, Sheriff. You are Oh, you. grandson, don't harm him. We'll pay anything you ask. Just give him back, and we'll ask no questions. I haven't got your grandson. We know you have, and by heavens, you'll hang I'm for here it. to help you. you Just to make sure you don't interfere, Sheriff, I'll take your gun. You'll pay for this. Stand still. There. Now, just put it on the desk over here, so you'll not try to reach for it. Stranger, can't we come to terms? The boy means everything to us. We're not young anymore, and if we don't get him back, there won't be anything left for us to live for. You'll get him back. You expect us to believe that? You'll have to. But first, I want to know exactly what was said in the notes you received. You don't have to be told. You wrote it. Answer my question. I asked for $10,000. I know that. But how was the money to be delivered, and when? The note mentioned a bridge. The old bridge, it was called. That's only a mile out of town. He said to get paper money, put it in a package, hide the package at the east end of the bridge. Did he say when? He, he gave us a week. Can you get the money together within a week? I can. I'm sure I can. I've already spoken to the banker... He'll send to Mortonville for it. Good. Then follow those instructions exactly. You rotten fool, cat. You can't get away with this. I'm warning you. Your life ain't going to be worth a plug nickel around these parts. Sheriff, I believe I can convince you that I'm not guilty. You can't do no such thing. Do you remember talking to a stranger some time ago? A man who asked you about the Laramies? Uh, let me see. He was the first man you told about the hunt for the child after you'd promised the Laramies to spread the word around. Oh, wait. I recollect now. He had a white horse and he called... Say, he called his horse Silver, too. I'm the same man. Then by thunder, you did get the kid. That's why you were so blamed interested. Dad ratted, I even told you about these folks being worth a sight of cash. I wish I'd known then that Listen you... to me. Sheriff, I'm going to tell you what happened after I spoke to you that day. I'm going to tell you why I spoke to you. And then I'll explain what I want you to do. If you still refuse, I'll have to try another plan. But I'm quite sure you won't. Fellas, tonight's the night, and the cash is all right down by the bridge like the note said. Sheriff, you want us to hide somewhere so we can see who gets it? Not by a blame sight. You fellas are my deputies, and you do just like I say. Don't go near that cash. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. That yeah, goes for all you fellas. You, Gus. All right. And you, Leo. And Duke and Slim, yeah, too. Yes, what's sir. the idea? The Laramies want the kid back alive. That's the idea. And they're not taking any chances on the crook getting scared and making off. But what are we supposed to do? Just go about your business like all of us. There's enough to keep you busy without meddling. All I gotta say is this. If that crook gets scared off on account of one of you, I'll have your badges. Now get it. All right. It's after 11 o'clock. You don't think anything could have gone wrong, do you? Don't worry, Mrs. Laramie. The note said the boy would be returned as soon as the money was paid. 
We've made it easy for the man who captured your grandson to get the money without being seen. He'd have nothing to gain and everything to lose by keeping the boy after that. I suppose so. Hey, if you folks ain't comfortable waiting here in my office, uh, maybe it wouldn't hurt none to go down to the hotel. I don't think that would be wise, Sheriff. The note we left for the money said to send the boy here. Well, he could ask for us, couldn't he? You forget. He speaks only the language of his tribe. He understands no English at all. Mm, poor young un. Just waiting, watching the clock. I can't stand it much longer. You'll have to be patient, Mr. Laramie. It's going to be all right, Martin. 11.15. I sure hope you didn't make no mistake in your figuring, stranger. I didn't. I'm sure of that. Martin. Well, Jenny, what Outside is it? Outside there. Do you see him through the window? What? That boy. I saw nothing. Oh, I see him now, ma'am. He stepped in front of the light from the cafe. Dressed like an Indian. Yes, that's him. Sheriff, the boy's free. Now we can set our trap. And by thunder, we will. Get the boy. Keep him here. But, 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 My friend's waiting in back. I'll go out this way. Sheriff, do what I told you. I'll be back in an hour. Right. And when I get back, we'll catch the crook you're looking for. Here, Silver. All right, old fellow. Now to ride to camp and get Tato. Come on, Silver. Oh, Tonto! Uh-huh. You ready? Everything's set, Tonto. Where's Gray Elk? He's Gray Elk. Has Tonto explained everything to you, Gray Elk? Uh, me do like him telling me. Then get to your horses. We're returning to town. Here's Count. Me get him horse. I told the sheriff we'd be back in an hour. We'll have to hurry. You you see, boy? Yes, Tonto. The boy was set free. That be good. Be ready. Catch him, bad fellow. Then come on. Get him up, Scout. Hey, oh, Silver! Away! Hey, Slim. What do you want, Sheriff? Did you get a hold of the rest of the deputies like I told you? They're coming. They're right behind me. Then tell them to get a move on. Hurry up, fellas. The sheriff wants you in the office right now. We're hurrying as fast as we can. What's the rush? Get in here and find out. What's ailing you, Sheriff? Something happened? Just step inside, all you, and sit down. Hey, howdy, Mr. Laramie. Hello, Duke. Hello, Hello men. Hey, Hello. Say, Sheriff, where's the kid? I thought Slim said he'd come back. The boy's over at the hotel, Mrs. Laramie. We didn't figure we ought to have him around for what we're going to do. Huh? What do you mean by that, Sheriff? Never you mind, Leo. You'll save it soon enough. But right now, we're waiting. Waiting for what? Waiting for the mask on and some friends of his, Gus. Say, you ain't idiot enough to think that feller would come walking in here after getting that $10,000, do you? Just you wait and see. You must have gone loco. Duke, before I'm through here, maybe you'll change your mind. Yes, you're acting mighty mysterious, Sheriff. How about letting us in on what's going on? We're your deputies, ain't we? Uh-huh. And that's just why I'm keeping my mouth shut for now. Huh? Because you are my deputies. Mm, that don't make sense. I can't... Here we are, Sheriff. Well, well, the the mask man's man's here. Here. Just hold your horses, fellas. The masked man's here to straighten things out, and I'm helping him. Who in blazes is the engine? This is Gray Elk. He's the medicine man from the tribe that raised young Ted Laramie. Oh, young Ted Laramie? Oh. You said the Redskin would have some information for us, didn't you? I said he had a story to tell, and he came here to tell it. Huh? What story? One moment. Counting Gray Elk and myself, there are eight men in this office. And one of us is a murderer and a kidnapper. Where do, you, do you get off making a charge like that? You're crazy. Wait. Sheriff, except for your deputies, I was the first man to be told about the search for Ted. But when Tonto and I returned for the boy, he was gone, stolen. That meant he could have been seized only by someone who knew of the search before I did. Gone? And that, in turn, pointed to your deputies. Shut up. Keep right on, mask fella. You'll remember I was close to your office the night the ransom note was thrown in the window. Close enough to know I was the only one who approached this building. Outside of your deputies again. Where were you talking about? So the guilty man has to be one of your men, Sheriff. Oh, which one? There's Duke and Slim, Leo and Gus. You'll learn the right one in a moment, Sheriff. Now, Gray Elk, tell us what you saw. What's the redskin got to do with this? What right you got to Slim, when I said to shut up a minute. The masked man's handled this any way he sees fit. Gray Elk, how did you happen to know Ted Laramie? Find him, him, many moon past. Take him, boy, in tribe. Call him, him, Little Beaver. How long ago was that? That five year, white man time. Now, Gray Elk, tell us when you saw Ted the last time. Uh, him ride with Indian friend near village. Bad white man come. White man shoot Indian. Take him, Little Beaver. What is it? Look quiet. Gray Elk, this is the most important question of all. Answer it carefully. 
Did you get a good look at the man who stole Ted away? Uh, me see him. Me near when him kill him. Is that man in this room? Uh, him here. Now, Grey Elk, point him out. Him Stay out. You're not going to get me. Watch out, it's you. Grab him. Oh, he's got the light. Let me kill her. The first time he follows me out, gets drilled. Let me get him. Hey, let me loose. Flash out. I'll take you for this. I am to see by. If I could get my hands loose. You're all through, Duke. It was a blasted medicine man recognized me. The spiral things. You killed two of his tribesmen, Duke. You tell us how you knew where to find the boy, or you'll be turned over to the Indians for punishment. No, don't do that. They'll torture me. I saved them redskins. You wouldn't do that. Then talk. I was one of them that... They left the kid near the village five years ago. You must have been one of the outlaws who massacred the wagon train. Don't turn me over to the rescue. White man's justice will punish you, Duke. But golly, stranger, was sure lucky Gray Elk recognized Duke. But he didn't, Sheriff. It was the first time he ever saw Duke in his life. What? The first time. I knew one of your men had a guilty conscience, Sheriff. And Gray Elk played his part to prove it. Well, I'll be doggone. I, I was tricked. You've got only yourself to blame for it. Come on, Sheriff. Let's put him in a safe place to keep for a hanging. <laughs> Silver old fellow, there's trouble over in Danville. Hi-o, Silver, away! The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.